Hello everyone, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a project which is based on Node.js and this is basically a project to create a bot. So we will see how when we provide the bot token, the bot IDs and if it is valid, we get a config.json part where we get the objects of the bot which is uh, relating to a bot. So we'll see how does this work. So coming to the requirements, first we have uh, the basic requirement that is a text editor requirement, which is what I have used here is VS code. You can use anything as per your choice. Secondly, we have a operating system requirement. I have used your Windows 10. Again, depends on you which operating system you want to go for. This project is based on HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and mostly Node, Node.js. Node.js. Then, we have the requirement analysis as, as the HTML files, CSS files, some sort of JS files, and we'll get to know how to run this project and it's really gonna be very fun and interesting for you. And it is a source of a very vivid information and you are going to learn certain things and your concept is going to be very crisp. So stay tuned with me while I go through this entire application. So let's see the running first. Let's see how to run because this is very important. So first open your terminal. Uh, first what you need to do, you need to go to change the directory and go to the directory where your project is there. See, I've opened the readme before so that you can like understand how to go. So read the readme properly when you're going to run it. We have written entire thing how to run. So do it. Then basic thing npm install to install all the dependencies so it will take some time to install installed then you have to run node main dot js so see it says file does not exist let's create one it asks me for my bot token i can give my discord token the telegram bot token but this is a project where we are learning right so I'm not going to Discord, I'm not going to my Telegram or Facebook. I'll just write a normal token so that you can understand. So my bot token is XSX. What is my bot prefix? Six sim. And the IDs of the owner is say 55. I'm the owner. So it, the config, config.json file is created and will show me. So this is my JSON. So it shows your token XXS prefix in owners of this. So when you will be providing an accurate bot token and bot ID, like which is correct, so you can see the actual running of this project. Okay. Now uh, we will be moving towards each and every files, the JS files, the HTML files, the CSS files, and we'll see what does it have in store for us. Let's move to avatar. In the avatar, we have the Discord. See, I have I should have given my Discord bot token, but to make you understand, I haven't given it. You can give, you can give when you had the token ID to be mentioned and the token prefix, you could give no issues in it. Const Discord is equal to require discord.js. Your configuration name is set to be avatar. The LSS are show avatar, user avatar, use photo. So these are the basic functionalities. Usages, it shows mentioned users or your avatar. And here we have the functions to set the color, set description, set the timestamp, set the title, set footer, set image, etc. This part, we have the configuration set, the band count, and uh, see the members. So if you have the permission only, you are able to like, get the information and if you do not have it says warning you do not have enough permission to use this command and if you are like if you want if, if you cannot see if the band permissions are not allowed for you to be seen it says i can't see band members okay so some members are banned from the server right this is the create channel in the create channel again we have the name called create channel alias is a channel create usage is create a text and voice channel then we have this run function where we have the client configuration message and arguments as the 
parameters then if a person cannot use it if you do not have the permission to use a particular command it says you cannot use this command and if you have not the, you do not have the permission you do not possess the author authority to create a channel it says it gives you a warning that i can't create a channel okay then here it asks you what do you want to create it will give you certain options if you want to create something like a text channel a voice channel so it depends which you want to use right delete dot js if you want to delete certain messages so you can delete it what's a bot it's basically a machine you can call in a layman language which is basically ai ml generated and which gives you your desired answers of the questions so if you cannot delete messages messages it says i cannot delete messages so and if it can delete if it has the authority it will ask you how many messages you want to delete or uh, you can provide only numbers and if the message you deleted is like appro appropriate if that message exists then it deletes it then we have help.js in the help.js it asks you to it doesn't ask you basically it basically shows you all the bot commands and it just says the title to help color is set then field commands will be set so accordingly you are going to work on that in the invite.js you are going to invite the name is set as invite the alias or the functions which you can perform is invite bot invite me add uh, me to the server then invite link invite bot and the usage will be send me an invite link to basically invite someone invite someone to your server the color is set to be green the title is called invite link then in the ping.js you have a ping settings so the aliases include bot ping and the usage includes show the bot's ping the colors set as red orange and green depending on the ping then uh, the title color fields and footer is set accordingly in this server.js we do have the exports configuration like the aliases set are server information the guild guild information and guild uh, the color informations so here all the name owner emojis count roles count boost level channel count member count online members offline members everything is set everything is basically taken from the server then in the test.js you have a name called test again same thing and the license a test command then the test message displays uh, this is a test message message everything is okay everything is all right so this you can see when you are basically having a perfect bot token which when we are, you are running the project you have to give it so that it will link the server accordingly in the main.js what do we have in the main.js we have a requirement of discord.js then require fs then we have a client requirement inquiry requirement if the file does not exist it says let's create one and the configuration.json is created which we saw and it will ask you what name type and your bot token so which you want to give which you have to give perfectly so as i am going to we are just learning right here we are just making our concepts crisp so we have not given any proper token you can give it accordingly and it will work fine because this is a basically a discord bot okay and if you got some error in the configuration file it basically returns with the error and the client commands are set like the discord from the discord collection and if the command is loaded well and fine and if there is something problem in the command it basically drags your and throws some error that the command cannot be loaded and here you have to log in from the configuration dot token which gets created in the this file which which we created okay so i hope this project is clear to you i hope you understood the working of this project for more interesting project ideas stay tuned to this channel thank you and have a great day